what is art? Is it a stupid question? Is it the dopiest question I ever heard? I don't know if it's the dumbest question I ever heard. I think it's one of the hardest ones to answer, you know? It's because there's a lot of gray areas. There's a lot of differences. There's a lot of opportunities for different things to be art. I think there's a large area. It could be painting, could be sculpture, could be music, could be literature, could be conversation. I mean, I think it's something that's creative, something that's, I guess something that's just done for the sole purpose of creativity. I mean, there might be other outcomes to it, but I think that would be the driving force creative expression, express yourself. I mean, they're kind of tied together. Is there such thing as dangerous art? I would say there probably is, yeah. Something that motivates people in a, it could be a negative zone or it could bring them to a, a, a direction, <laughs> you know, anything that directs people can be dangerous. Just like dangerous politics, I think it could go either way. You know, you could apply it. It's all what people are using their work to do or what message they're pushing forward. What is art? What is art? It's, it's definitely, I guess for me, if I was going to answer it personally, it would be a creative zone, a place that I'm going, where I'm hanging out with my thoughts that you don't exist, the outside doesn't exist, time doesn't really exist. You check in with it once in a while, and then you jump out of art and you look at it, and you're looking at art. But when you're actually experiencing it, same with music. When I do music, it's that same place that I think is the real place of art or the real thing. Kind of wishy-washy, hard to define, but it's a moment more than a product. So, okay, so is there dangerous art in, a, in the context of should art be censored or should it be pulled down or should it be blocked or, or something covered up in a museum? I don't, I don't really think so. I mean, I don't... If it's flat art, if it's a painting, if it's, I, I think I think the thing I was thinking initially was more like, depending on your words, what you're trying to motivate. But I think, I don't think there should be a censorship of anything. I mean, it's like, like I said in the beginning, art's a take it or leave it thing. I don't think there's an obligation by the viewer or the art creator to do anything. It's just something you're creating and doing and it's stirring the pot maybe and, and giving people ideas or showing them something. It's basically a shared expression and you could turn to choose to turn away. So I don't know if you're, if you're that manipulated by an image or a song to do something dangerous, then I don't know, that might be a little, yeah, that's a little weird. If you, art could be dangerous if you paint it on razor blades. No. Could art be dangerous? I guess you could say that again, because it wields a power. Anything that wields a power could be dangerous, but again, it's gonna be who's following it, what's going on, I don't know. It's, it's gray. I mean, it's true. I guess what you were saying is how people are using art as a, what, like maybe an advertisement or something sure. to motivate people in different ways. And they're basically trying to take it under the gaze that this is cool and use it as some kind of peer directive thing or you're going to be in the in crowd for doing it. And again, I don't know. I still think it's, it's, that's more tied into just mainstream media and generic stuff than real art. I think is it is it's oh. more moving all that stuff along, you know, pop music, and if it's art, it's gonna be poppy. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it could bleed over. It's, it's weird to think about. No, I think what is art? It's an alright question. It's you know, I think it's a lot of different things for a lot of different people. For I don't know, dude. It's weird. Actually, it is a weird question because it's like I didn't for the longest time. I wouldn't even call myself an artist. I would just say I'm a painter. I didn't like being associated with that bigger idea. I still kind of find myself outside of it because I think to a lot of people it's that whole scene or it's this bigger, all this mumbo jumbo about their creativity. I mean, to me, it's direct expression. To me, it's something that you do because it's real and you're doing it for yourself. There might be other residual outcomes or I might show my work, but first and foremost, I'm doing it for me. I mean, you're not even seeing half of what I've done in here. There's a room back there with like 200 more paintings. So it's not like I'm doing this because you know, I got enough paintings that I could probably have a cute career for the next five years, but all I want to do is make more. So I well, think that to me is where art starts, you know? Is where? That weird obsession where you have to do it, you know? I don't know, because then there's, you know, there's the question of, well, what's the difference between craft and art? It's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't like to make that call because a lot of people all want to be in the same boat. But again, it's more just like, what is that personal experience? It's got that thing where you kind of got to do it and it's, I don't know, it shouldn't, 
to me, I, I, what I like to believe is art, I guess, too, is just something that's not so simply explained. There's some abstraction to it. It's hanging out in some land of yeah, the magic. Yeah, the guy to do it would mean that obese people are artists because they've just got to eat. Hmm? I have an Could issue be. eating, and sometimes I've just got to overeat. Sure. <laughs> so I don't know, you know, I don't know about that myself, but uh, so so what is what would you say what is art? Mm, I don't know, dude. I don't think it's that. I don't think it should be that capsulized. Like as far as what is art, I think it's a lot of things. I mean, music's art. Painting could be art. Singing can be art. Arranging weird junk could be art. I mean, I, you know, you could look at a guy who's created a junkyard into a coliseum of insanity where you see those outsider artists just building everything into everything, making castles. That's definitely art to me. I think Andrew Goldsworth, he's going out to the middle of the woods and just arranging leaves on rocks. Seems like art to me. But then there's plenty of other things that don't seem like art to me that are still in that same bag. That's why I think that's, that's the hard part to, to control or stick in the box, you know. It's, it's specific to that part where they've like you know got to do it might not be the best words but there's this weird personal obsession that's obvious this idea that there is a perfect arrangement of whatever notes things visuals words could be a poet i guess definitely could be an artist mm -hmm. yeah no i agree dude a lot of artists don't recognize i mean i i don't it's weird, like you said, it's weird when, it, when, you, when you think about it, like saying they don't acknowledge their power, like I don't, I said, I don't know, who's it for? Who's obligated to look at it? Who's obligated to do it? I'm just doing my thing and getting in my zone and having my own little fairyland and then whatever effects are gone out. But I can actually totally agree to the other side where yeah, they, they, they definitely must have power because a lot of people throw a lot of money into it or use it or throw a little bit of money into it and somehow make a lot of money off of it. <laughs> I mean, if, if we're saying people can't even think for themselves, then what? We're all just robots. Then, then the media must be really dangerous. 